<laughs> Got it. I love the snort he does after. Good morning guys and welcome to a truly bloody beautiful day in Cape Town. I've driven to a cool little spot because the mountain is looking super clear today um, to come and enjoy my coffee but also to try out these new lenses that I got from Pixter. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try out these lenses because my little Sony A5100 has gone in for not really repairs, but it's gone in to be cleaned properly before we leave on our trip. I'm sure you guys have noticed, but there's constantly little black specks on the screen and the, the side of the kit lens is um, broken. It's starting to like peel off. Now everyone says that the best camera is always the one that you have on you. I was like, yeah, I'm going to test that theory. And I also want to see how well the iPhone does in comparison. I'm gonna head over to Ben very soon. I think we're gonna discuss some road trip ideas with um, Kyle who's helping produce a trip and Nodia who is helping produce a little film that we're gonna make from Kenya. But first, let's go take a closer look at this bloody beautiful wonder of the world. lens that I'm using as I said is called the wide the wide angle pro it's 18 mils but this is what it looks like without the little lens on I'll show you what the lenses look like because they're super nifty and this is with it on there oh it's blurred gotta get it right in the middle but basically they pretty much just look like this so it's a little clip you can put on the back or the front facing camera and Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt you have a wide shot. Oh, you I can cut that out. I can edit that out. That's right. No one saw that. update on the search. So I recently um, replaced the alternator with a new one because it wasn't charging the battery which is an obvious problem. The alternator is only delivering 9 volts and it needs to deliver 12 volts in order to charge the battery so anybody who was to drive this thing it would just stop eventually. We can't drive it up to Joburg so we're trying to find a new alternative way and we think we're going to put it on a truck. Good news in that we, we know it's probably my mistake in okay. the way that okay. I've it's the first alternator I've ever put in. No. Cheers, Andrea. Speaking a bit. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, these peeps have been trying to sort out the Land Rover situation because it's been booked into an, I want to say, electronic, an electrician while it's up there. Um, and he's expecting it today. So we're trying to find a truck to transport the car. Good news, Poke's on the way. Hello? Is anybody from Uwait? Coming! Oh. Cape Town has finally jumped on the poke train. This is the first poke restaurant that's opened up. This is better than the one that I've had in the United States of America. Pipe brown beer. It's so good. Oh, better get on that gym. <laughs> Nadia have arrived to chat more about the trip and they're busy discussing a little plan for the concept of the video. And we want to show the Land Rover obviously like going through the limits as well because that's going to be a huge aspect. You know you look at the roads as well to long distances you can drive 400, 800 k's on a day yeah. just single tar so, road. Yeah, no. So if you can find these spots like say so for example like Spitzkopf where it does have some off-road opportunities yeah. but it's in a super beautiful landscape so it'll be really nice to shoot yeah um, so this is the route that we're gonna take it's all, obviously it's open to any suggestions that anybody has if you think or know of anything cool along the way then let's go for it why not yeah so we'll start off in Nairobi 
and then I don't know if we want to stay there a day or two maybe stay there for one day just to get the cars ready packed up and ready for the road okay so plan of action at the moment Pumba is sorry bro Pumba is immobile we've just somehow last minute scruffled our way onto a truck that's going up to Josie so for delivery in two days where Andrea is there we might fly up and even help so this is the vehicle okay and it's not running what? tent's got to come off Pumba drama is never ending. I've got the keys. How you doing, SB? Uh, what is going on there? It's my new vlog That's concoction. Cool. I like it. I'm all for vlogging. It's cool, eh? Has everybody seen your setup though? Um, no. Oh, I thought to get. I was meant to show people that. That's what it looks like. You can just see my reflection in my one. <laughs> can you not see? Oh, right. I'm looking at this. I'm like, yo, we've got it perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at us vlogging behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, we're behind your scenes. Yeah. We're right in front of my scenes. So, this is a little clip on lens, guys. Oh, that's cool. Oh. That's cool, huh? Oh, that's cool. Well, need a new well, it one. does it reach? Try it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you know what? This is actually really cool. This is like, if. This is oh, dream. Oh, motion blur. Dream so mode. Dream mode. Look, it's like, whoa! Oh, that's actually <laughs> really cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, make it make yourself look like you're in a dream. <laughs> Pixter, if you want to send me some for a Samsung. Hustler. You want that? <laughs> Everyone has left the house. We are heading over to Kyle's house in Camps Bay for epic views. Also, French bulldogs and English bulldogs. <laughs> Carl's house. Pretty much like the most epic views around him. He's got the ocean on the one side, lion's head directly in front of me, Table Mountain and the Twelve Apostles to my right. I mean it doesn't really get better. How do you get work done, Kyle? What? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't work, we come home. Yo. <laughs> Look at this view. And the squeaker. Yeah, get it, SP. sunset mission down in a place called Maiden's Cove in Camps Bay. The swell is pretty humongous so hopefully you're gonna get some nice spray. Thank you. 